All right, so what we're going to learn about this time is putting some static files into our app engine. There's a, a couple things we're going to do. The real focus is on using static files. It just so happens that the static file we're going to add is CSS. I'm not going to teach you all about CSS in this. Uh, we're just going to add some static files that are CSS. We're also going to add an image, just so you can kind of see how those things work. So quick little review, where is our app right now? So our app is functional, right? So you can add things, so I can say... Um, my quote, no CSS, still works fine. Just kind of make sure everything is, is up and going. Uh, so we've got the query working with strong consistency, all that's good. We're going to do some things to make this page a little bit prettier. Not a lot prettier, but a little bit prettier. So what we need to do is we need to come into Eclipse. Uh, we're actually going to start kind of over in this left area. We're going to make a new folder first. So I'm going to right click on this guy and say new folder. I hate how that popped off the screen. Trust me, it says folder. <laughs> um, and I'm going to have a folder called static. Any files that I want to serve that, that don't dynamically change, they're just, just a file, I'm going to put into this folder. I'm going to make a couple subfolders just for my own organization. So I'm going to say new folder again. So I right clicked, let me start over, right click on the word static, say new, and then I assure you I'm say, clicking on folder even though it's off the screen. I'm going to make one called images. And then also, right-clicking on static again, I'm going to make a new folder called Style Sheets. And that's where my CSS is going to go. Inside the Style Sheets, I'm going to go ahead and make a new file. So I'm saying new, and then I'm saying file this time. And I'm going to say moviequotes.css. And so it starts off with a blank CSS file. I'm not going to write the code in here. We're going to copy it in. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to get a placeholder of the static folder and then subfolders in there for different types of static files. Making a folder is great. Uh, however, making the folder is currently just on your local machine. If you try to, like, go to this, like, from your deployed version or even from localhost, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be there. Um, and that's because you have to tell App Engine that you want to serve that folder. And again, people say, hey, why didn't you just do it by default? And, and I would say, you, you want to be able to have folders that aren't served. Um, so it's not really shocking that you, you should have to do something to serve a folder. Um, and so the way this works is we're going to make a new handler. Uh, I forget the syntax, so I'm just going to look at the notes, right? So I've got uh, my static folder kind of prepared. Um, so we're going to make a new handler for serving static files. Um, and the syntax is, hey, if anybody comes in with anything that, that is slash static, then what we want to do is we want to serve, serve them the static directory called static. Uh, and then I've got an optional comment in there as well. So I kind of like comments. I'll just say serving static files. Uh, so obviously the pound sign at the start means this is a comment. So if anybody comes into static or any subfolder, uh, we want to do a static directory serve of our static file. So now if somebody comes there, we'll actually serve something to them. So I'm not saying you would, you would care about this, um, but let's say I'm just going to really quick type something stupid in here. I'm going to type in hello, right? Uh, and if you wanted to prove that that works, if you go to static slash style sheets slash movie quotes, plural, CSS, if you manage to actually put that all in without making any typos, uh, it should say the word hello. So I can see that I'm serving a static file. Obviously the word hello is not what I want to put in this, so I'm just going to delete that. And I want to actually put in some CSS rules. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to have you copy in some CSS rules. So go ahead and visit this, uh, this gist and go ahead and just copy what's there. Um, and then you'll just have the text on your clipboard uh, and then you can paste it in. Um, and it's just going to paste in some rules. One of the first rules is on the body object, use this image. We don't have this image yet. This will turn your screen kind of like blue. Uh, and then do some things where like you make the input boxes bigger. Uh, you change the font uh, to a different font type, uh, which, is, which is fine and lovely. And if you want to see this happening, what you can do is you can go back to localhost. And so this is the version with, with no CSS added. You can see my boxes are short. My font is kind of some sort of Times New Roman. Um, and then if I save this, and I'm just going to hit save. Um, and then what I need to do is I need to say to the HTML, 
to use this file. So if I go into the HTML and up in the heading area, you can do it before or after the title, doesn't really matter. Say, hey, we want a link. Um, and this link that we want, uh, the relationship for this link is that it's a style sheet. And the uh, type, I might be getting this wrong, I'm just going to guess it at first, is a text slash CSS. And then the href on this is uh, static uh, style sheets slash movie quotes plural CSS. All right, so I went ahead and typed it in. I think in the notes I left off this opening slash. I do recommend having that. That way, just in case you're at some other path, it always goes back to the, the root to find static. So make sure you do go ahead and add that slash. All right, so now if I were to reload the page, I should hopefully see a change. So text box width looks at that, the font style. So I hit refresh. Um, and what it should do is it should change, right? And mine worked, right? So I have this font size changed because I used a different CSS font. My input boxes changed widths. Typically the quote is long and the movie is short. Um, and then there are a couple other minor, minor things. The next thing I want to talk about is the um, Chrome Dev Tools. What I want you to do is this. Right click on the page and say Inspect Elements. What that should do is that should pop up either in the bottom or in a separate, separate dialog. Um, the Chrome Developer Tools. We use these all the time, right? And what I want you to do is I want you to notice if you go to the console area, you can see that there's actually an error. There's a 404. You can see it's trying to find this images.noise.jpg, but it, it doesn't exist. Um, so one of the things I want to do first is I want to go add that, right? So let's go ahead and go add that. So there's a link uh, from the slides uh, about adding that. So there's a file that you can download. So go ahead and click on that link. Uh, and then that'll take you to a page and you'll just have to download it. And you should just go ahead and put it into that, that correct folder, right? So just navigate to wherever you need to go to to get to that folder. There's my static images, and I'm just going to save it right there. And now what that should do is as soon as I reload the page now, uh, sometimes I have to hold down shift when I do reload. I'm going to try just plain old reload um, and see if that does it. It, it has this tendency to use the cache um, instead of actually going to get new resources. Uh, and it looks like it didn't. So now I'm going to hold down the shift button uh, and click reload. Um, and there you can see that it was it was smart enough to, to not use the cache uh, and bring in my blue background. Uh, so these are the static files. There's a ton of things you can play with with the dev tools. I mean, if you want to, just um, right click and open up the dev tools. And there's just all kinds of things you can do. So for example, if you were to click on the body um, and you were to uncheck you know, the use of the font, you can see how it would look with and without that rule. Um, likewise, you could uncheck the background, and you can see what it'll look like with no background, and then you could recheck it uh, and see what it looks like with background. So there I'm on the body to do those things. Uh, there are other, other rules got applied in different places. Uh, so for example, there were some on the, uh, the length of the input boxes. So if I expand this and drill down to find my input boxes, you can see that this guy had a width of 300 set on him. You can see what it looks like with and without it. Um, and this is how you really play with your CSS rules. I'm not actually worried about CSS, though. I just wanted you to learn how to do the static files. Uh, and you can see it's not that hard. You make a folder. Uh, I typically call mine static. I'm going to go ahead and refresh it here. So with, uh, with it refreshed, you can see what all it's got in it. So we made a folder. Uh, we said, hey, serve this static directory. Uh, and then from the HTML, we have to say that we want to use one of those static files. All right, so that's static files with App Engine and a little, like, uh, cheater look at CSS. See you next time. Bye.